This is Jeff Breedlove with the Georgia Council on Substance Abuse, and I'm here at iHope and Warner Robins with Teresa Stewart, who's our executive director here. Thank you so much for visiting with us today. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Thank you. Well, you know, this is an important RCO in Georgia. You're in uh, the middle of the state. We've got former Governor Sonny Perdue and current U.S. Senator David Perdue from here, Robins Air Force Base, and so many important parts of Georgia just right here and you're serving a great constituency of, of, of peers in recovery. Yeah, it's awesome. So we're happy where we're placed at. We are housed in Warner Robins and we also have two other stations. So yeah. We're, we're so good. yeah, let's talk about that. So it's not just Houston County. Tell us about these two other stations and how, how you're spreading the hope of recovery through IHOPE. Okay, well, we partner with Love and Kindness Ministry in Peach County, as well as Community Church of God or Community Empowerment Center in Bibb County. So those are two stations where we're able to go and do some peer support groups. And I love that because I hope it's been around since about 2015, but we've only had the board, the brick and mortar building here for about a year. Correct. But already we're in two other counties. And how many people do you think have been here and been touched by recovery here in this building, uh, you know, in the past year? Oh, definitely over a thousand contacts we have made. Isn't that amazing? It over, is amazing. over a thousand people in, in just about a year f hearing and feeling and, and getting to know recovery as opposed to the criminal justice system. Absolutely. I mean, that's a big deal. Oh, it is a big deal because down here in the South, you have more of diversion centers in the jails and the prisons. And so we're able to provide a service that can help sustain that quality of life that they're looking for. And one of the ways you do that is this really cool van you've got. Yeah. And this van is really helping the recovery community. Tell us a little bit about the van and how it's helping recovery. Well, let me tell you this. The van is really important. It's a really intentional, strategic part of what we do here in Middle Georgia. Like I said, some of our collaborators with the Day Reporting Center and some of our stations, they have uh, repercussions if they don't make it to their treatment centers or certain places that they need to be. So we're able to lighten that load. We're able to reduce that anxiety and that barrier so they can focus on what, what the quality of life that they want. Well, that that's another uh, example of how an RCO is making a difference here in the life of real Georgians. I think one guy, I think you told me, was spending an awful lot of money each month. $400. That included taking a Uber or a Lyft from Macon, Georgia, down here to Warner Robins, Georgia, and being able to have to pay what he had to get his um, medication assistant therapy treatment. And, and this type of service allows somebody like him to to get on his feet more stable. Absolutely, get on his feet he did. So he was able to save some money, he was able to learn about some of the other services that we have, and he actually became certified himself. And you've had other success stories too. I know you're working in the criminal justice system here, going into the jails now. Yes, so that's exciting. We're taking our all recovery meeting into Houston County Detention Center with one of our collaboratives. They're really helping us with that, and so, yeah, we're excited. So it's another example of how an RCO has worked with local law enforcement, and we're breaking down walls, destroying stigmas, and, and going into a jail, making a difference in the lives of folks as they become returning citizens. Yes. And returning citizens is what we want to lift up. We want them to know that I hope is that that good middleman. We're the people that want to help with the transition from their therapeutic environment back into their natural environment. You know, I think we could do an hour long segment on I hope, <laughs> right. but we want to talk about one more thing okay. real quick, and that's you did something that was uh, very innovative. You joined the Chamber of Commerce. Yes. And when you joined the chamber, that helped break down some walls and barriers. Yes, it did. So joining the Chamber of Commerce has given I hope the leverage they need to to also talk about the stigma and discrimination by living our recovery in our lives out loud, that we're here in middle Georgia, we're saying at the top of our lungs that, hey, recovery is real. Recovery is real. And, and it's letting the business community be more comfortable with supporting the recovery community. Exactly. That's the goal, Jeff. And I think you had some pretty special guests come uh, at the ribbon cutting. Yes, I did. We had two mayors come. We had the Honorable Mayor, Honorable Mayor um, Randy Toms, and then we also had the Mayor of Centerville. They both showed up, and it was just, it was a great experience. You know, this RCO here, I hope, and Warner Robins 
Houston County, going beyond the borders to Peach and, and, and Bibb, making a real difference. And you know, you can help support them anywhere you are in Georgia by following them on social media. You can follow the Georgia Council of Substance Abuse on social media and just help spread the good news that recovery is real.